Hello everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to Russia. It's 1903, let's unpause the game here because the game goes slower and slower the further we get into the run. Uh, last episode we finally took uh, our claimed state and the two states that I need for the uh, achievement. Uh, the only thing we need left that we need to conquer is uh, everything in Central Asia, which is this thing over here against... Uh, uh, Afghanistan, right? Yes, yeah, so that's the next thing we are gonna do. Now, I did have a lot of infamy, so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and make sure that my infamy is not too high so that hopefully other countries are not going to join against us. And in the meantime, I am just keep uh, building all the things here. I am uh, getting everything built in these states here. So, for example, a tooling workshop, textile mill, Glass, furniture, food, steel, and that's it. And there's only, oh, there's a cotton plantation here. Fabric is still somewhat expensive, is it? No, it's not. No, it is absolutely not, so we don't have to do anything there. Uh, well, what I can do is build a couple of farms here. And make more sugar. Oh yeah, sugar is uh, a very good thing to build. Let's uh, let's build 20 of them here. Um, and I think the other state... Oh, in Ely we have nothing. How many? 1.1 million people over here. Which are all peasants. Oh my god. Well, let's first give them a bit of uh, livestock. Uh, let's build all the coal mines and logging camps over here. And then we're gonna do the tooling. Textile, glass, furniture, food, steel. And the same in Manchuria, but we have everything built in Manchuria already that we want, so that is really, really nice. Uh, what about coal mines? Coal is somewhat expensive. Let's uh, go to 10 coal mines in Auto Manchuria. Locks are still very profitable, of course. And the gold mines. Don't forget the gold mines. We want to export meat. But no one wants meat. Rip. We want to go to intensive wool gathering. That will be uh, very helpful. And when this is all done, we are going to start making electricity. Do, there, do they have any demand for electricity? Even when you are not using anything. It's not in the list over here, so apparently not. Don't think there's any... Oh yeah, we can go to the electric streetlights and get more services. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. I think you have no more peasants over here, do you? No, so... The Grove is all uh, immigration, I guess. Yeah, so I don't want to build anything anymore here. Well, we can do a little bit. We have 6 million people in this state. They are middling, so... Uh, we have the Destroyer units. Oil. Barracks needs to go to all of these. Uh, destroyer. Where is it? Oh. Navy. Oh, but we can already go to torpedo boats. Boom. One of this cannot be upgraded to torpedo boat as the unit types are too too different. Really? So you need to rebuild all the oh. Okay, you need to rebuild the boats. That makes sense that you just can't upgrade them. It makes sense. 
it doesn't make any sense that you can upgrade a boat from one type to another. So if you want more boats, you can or disband the old ones and build new ones, or just build new ones and add them to the old ones. It makes sense. That is how it should be, so I'm not going to complain there. Uh, training method for the barracks. Take a look. We can go to this. We are going to fire some servicemen and get more officers. Fine. And we are really reaching the better options over here. Let's do the tech free industry stuff. Oh, we should um, we should go and get human rights. Where are human rights? Wait, is, no, it doesn't give anything. Uh, here, we can get more school stuff. Oh, uh, we'll get some devastation in Alaska. That's fine for a little bit. Or the buildings coming along over here? They are not built yet. Iron mines are. I don't want to have a trade route for sulfur. Where is it? Can I do something about it? Maybe not. These are all fine. Yeah, until the rest is fine. Okay, what is my infamy? 15? You know what, let's just save the game and see what happens, right? Save over Russia. Go to the game and we are going to take Tajikistan. There are a lot of buildings over there, what is this? Well, then stop that route. Did I click on the right one? Maybe I clicked on the wrong one. I click on the wrong one. Oops. Uh, conquer state. Persia might join. Well, maybe it's time to vassalize Persia. And get their stuff into my market. Their dice. And tea. I don't have, do we have any tea? Shing market. I want to see my own market's tea. And let's put my offensive guys. Over there. And let's put my defensive guys. Over there as well. And I am actually going to... Do this. This will give them a little bit of a penalty, but only for a short period of time. I don't think we need this. They will recover, hopefully, before the war starts. Let's see, these ones go away. Neutrality. France is going to crush the Vietnamese. Okay, Persia is uh, going with Afgan Afghanistan. Can I vassalize Persia? I can, but it will be 50 infamy. I think I'm going to go over it. What's my infamy? Okay, we need to watch out now. Offense army, go to the Persian front. Is it just one front now? I think it's just one front. You need to attack. Go 
Gonna get these great shing sides with oh 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 Shing what did you just do? Two hundred are going over there. My goodness. How many troops do you have? Oh my god, they have so many troops. Maybe the defense will not be enough. What are the war goals at this point? Just war operations. Okay, they will never get that. This is the first war goal. Anyone else? And they back down. I should have made Persia into a uh, thing. And we got all our achievements. Um, they back down, so we get what we want. Uh, Tajikistan. And it's a very good state, actually. It just doesn't have steel and glass, so let's queue that already in. We want to incorporate this. And let's take a look at our achievements. Where is it? The great game. As Russia owned this the entire Central Asia region. So that we got that one. And I got another one, apparently. I don't remember which one. I need to look at my Steam page. So I will be right back. So apparently it was both the same. So I got both the events. Is there anything else I can complete in this run? Uh, have the armed forces coup the government? It's not very likely to happen in this run, so I'm not going to try it. Maybe get the single state er thing here. Well, no. Uh, have three companies at max prosperity. That's what we can do. And then the only possible that is left is Devil's Railroad. Completely exploiting the Amazon journal entry. Own all Amazon states and construct railways in them. Well, we can do that as uh, Brazil at some point. So... No, there's nothing else I can really do in this run. For achievements. So the goals are completed. Fifty five point two. We still have enough innovation. We still have a spare of twenty before we reach the uh, the cap. We need to build more universities. This is all going nicely. Peasants are going down, looking good as well over there. Still, 33% of our country is a peasant. Oh, Japan wants some meat. There you go. There you go, Japan. Enjoy your meat over there. I don't think I have to... Can I export uh, fruit to the British? And the Japanese. There you go. Have fun with some fruit. I need to fix some other things. I need more sugar. How can I get more sugar? Well, by expanding my... Wheat farms, I guess. Now, Kiev is very known for the grain. And they have a huge amount of arable land, so... Let's get those peasants working in uh, farms on Kiev. This is going to be interesting. Well, not Kiev, but Ukraine. We do also, we do also have the black soil over here. No. Now, we're also gonna need more railways.
And we're gonna get them in there. Tianshan. Yes, the grain will be very cheap, that's true. Uh, in Tianshan we need fertilizer. Can't put any mines here, unfortunately. Is uh, Moscow growing? Kiev is growing as well. Kiev and Moscow. Most people live in Kiev. But in Kiev we have 28% uh, peasants. In Moscow we have none. The peasants are gone here. What we should do in Moscow, since we are having not enough population, is actually go and put these later production methods on. Oh, we need to do uh, the clicks again. Yeah, I'll go to canneries. Change those. Yeah, but that will change soon. Yeah, well, then you should not build it. Uh, yeah, we have barbed wire everywhere. Let's not use any transportation yet for these. Okay, now we need electricity everywhere. Uh, did we already build electricity? What? I can't build electricity. But I researched it, right? Unlocks the power plant building. Is that a different category? Yeah, that's the case. Oh, railway steam and steel passengers. Always subsidized and now we can build power plant. What do we need for it? We need engines. Then we get 50. Well, Let's start building electricity. Oops. The one in Cuba needs to go away. Let's start with this. And you have no power plants because you are not in the list because you have no peasants. Yeah, that is uh Sometimes you want to see that one and otherwise you just want to see that one. How much electricity okay, they're not they are gonna use a lot of electricity out of nowhere soon, I think. So we really want to build five at least in the big cities. You do it after we build the initial one. Like this. Oh my. What? <laughs> yeah, they did it. They did it. The natives. Uh Conquered Australia. It happened. It actually happened. Wow. Could get the industrialists in. You're getting a lot more cloud. That is all because the peasants are getting better jobs. 
And then the laborers need to get better jobs. Maybe we can increase our... If we go to steel frame buildings, how is that going to be? Gonna use so much more glass. Explosives, tools and steel when we go to that one. That is going to be interesting how we are gonna do that actually. But I want it. Where is the technology that I need for the better construction? Don't see it. Arc welding? Where the hell? Maybe we should get some pump jacks soon as well. I am completely blind, I think. I am blind as hell. I don't know where, where the technology is. Okay, there we go. We have human rights, which unlocks compulsory primary school. The industrialists need to be in the government. Okay, let's uh, let's get them in. Let's get compulsory primary school. Next technology. We can publicly trade all our stuff. And we get more minting. Oh my god, that's so good for us. Minting is our main income. Oh no, not anymore. <laughs> income taxes and poll taxes as well. And consumption taxes, so... My goodness. Corporatism unlocked minus radical standard of living in accepted cultures. That is a very minor technology that you would never focus on, in my opinion. You need a bit more railway. Let's build two immediately. What is your problem in Uralsk? Why are you having so much trouble? Well, Dutchie, no idea. Let's build those logging camps over here. Well, you need a steel mill here, that is what you need. And glass. Two of them. That would help. What about this state? There are no peasants here anymore over here. Yeah, we are reaching the point where we have no more peasants, so we, we should really go and get the better production methods. I really think we need to do it. I think we need to go and get uh, mechanized looms, for example. And then see what happens to all our textile mills. Do we have enough tools for this? Told me in Zungaria there will be a problem. I wish this was, be on al I wish this was on alphabet, but it is not. Which is very, very annoying. But I found it. But the game told me, Dutchie, you should not do this. It will be not very profitable. But it is. It is profitable. I guess they have no qualifications over here. Yep. That will come, that will come over time. So... That is done. If I go to this one, we are going to use 500 and 1000 more coal. I will do this. Let's take a look what happens to all the prices of coal and, st and all the other things. Okay, it's uh, going fine actually. Yes, we are uh, using luxury and sometimes we are not making luxury. Keep it that way. 
Now the tooling workshop, this is going to make a huge difference. Oh my god. How much coal do we need? And now we did fire more people. So if I go to my population screen, the amount of laborers, I think this number is now lower. Yeah, now coal is expensive. Well, we are making more coal mines. In auto material. Let's get a bit more out there, I guess. It's a very profitable business. Same comes for the paper mills. We are going to the rotary valve. And fire more people. The steel mills are going to get the rotary valve. Yes. The motor industries are going to get it. The arms industries. The foundries. The munition plants. And now we have how many... Laborers. 32. And that means that people are now getting very angry because they are fired from their jobs. But we just need to make more buildings so that they can work in a more efficient building. And we have more gold, so let's queue that up in the front. Okay, that is all going. Gonna use some transportation. Maybe we are actually. Right, that needs to stay the same. And over here we have a couple of barracks, not on the right one. The modern port is requiring oil. Secular. Okay. We are now running on all the latest production methods, so that is really, really good for us, I think. I think our GDP crashed a bit. But in the long term, that is this is how you want to do it, so. Um, oh, well, let's do that one. Sure. Everything to keep the rural folk out. So I guess some people are now peasants again. Yeah, I think this number goes up, because when they have no jobs, they will go back to become a peasant. Because there is nothing else for them. That should also mean that we are having a huge amount of people that are looking for a job. Uh, let's click something else to show this off better. Yeah, we have 1.27 million job seekers in Kia, but only 500 peasants. But there are people that are all fired. They are gonna hate me. So the earlier you change to the better production methods, the better. Really. Okay, most of you are all making luxury furniture. Maybe I should just do it like this. Electricity. We did not put any electricity yet, I think. And what about our logging camps? Yeah, they need and hardwood is not gonna do anything for us, I think. If I do this, it is more more worth, right? Well, maybe not the next no no it's not. No 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 no. Softwood. Go back to softwood. We're having a lot of fishing wharves actually, and they are still not profitable in Luhansk. Let's build more coal here. Because they have a coal input problem there. Let's take a look at all our goods here. Okay, we need to make huge amounts of coal. Because we fired all these people. Uh, job seekers. There we go. Let's get all that coal coming in. And I'm gonna increase my product construction sectors. No, I wanna find out where this technology is. 
Steel frame buildings. Where the hell? Where is it? I don't see it. Is it something else? Is it millet? No. Oh, here it is. After mutual funds, we're going to steel frame buildings and fix that. Elections. Do we finally have the rural folk? Yes, 25% only. We have a somewhat legitimate government this way. And contested government. We're still trying to get comp uh, compulsory primary school here. Sure. We have a lot of bureaucracy again. Can I increase something? Well, I want to get my education up again. So let's keep the points for that. Because we are still also integrating some states. Which takes a very long time. So yeah, all the production methods are now on the latest, except for the food industries, because we are not using any oil. But we do have whaling stations, do we? Only one, though. Let's build all the whaling stations. And then start using oil. Number 25 in the world with standard of living. Meh. Belgium is doing good. Which makes sense because they are... They start industrialization very, very early. It's a really good county to start with. Yeah, I am working on the coal price. I just need to get all the things built. First some farms again in uh, Kiev. Okay, the sugar price is no longer very expensive. Oh, a little bit. You're getting a good wage here. Weekly income. Maybe I don't understand everything here, but... Hmm. The farmers are secure, the laborers are not secure. Well, later on we're gonna fire so many laborers that we are only keeping farmers. So they're, they're gonna be all be so good at these farms. We have 100 farms here, guys. In Kiev. 100. What the hell is happening here? Neutrality. Austria-Hungary wants to conquer Beijing. Are you, are you mad? What in the world? Really? Well, good luck with that. Uh, we, need, we need to get Tuva, right? And I'm gonna get all of Manchuria. But yeah, this is a problem. The infamy. Oh, our infamy is down already. Haha, -ha, we could go to war again. And we're starting to build electricity now. Should I pop up over here as well? In the lower part? So many peasants in Kazan. My goodness. So many peasants. What do you not have here yet? Fertilizer? Oh. Oh. 
100 farms now here. Holy shit. Only 19% peasants here. How many are there in Moscow? Okay, we do have some peasants here again. But that is fine. Now we can just upgrade buildings that are very profitable and put them in there. Arms industries are doing very well. Very, very well. Holy shit. Mostly by capitalists though. Look at all these plays. Great Britain is always having trouble. <laughs> they always have trouble. <laughs> and there we go. We are going to make our first power plant. Is it going to show up over here? Please show up over there. Is it? Yes, it is. Good. Let's see what who is gonna use the electricity. Maybe the pops use it as well. No? Okay. They are not using any electricity. Well. Then we can start using it. There are a couple of things that can use it, I think. Urban centers. For infrastructure, which is fantastic. But when I click that, a lot of states are gonna get trouble. Maybe not that one yet then. Let's try something else where maybe we should go with electric fences and fire some more laborers again. Let's wait until we have built the power plants everywhere and the sawmills. But we need a lot of electricity for this. Now I am building a lot of electricity, so I think we will we will get it and we and it will start working out, but it just needs a bit more time again. Are we going for... Oh yeah, mutual funds. That is coming next day. Which is really nice because we make more minting. We now make 318,000. And we can now go to publish, pub, publicly trade it for the food, in the, uh, food industries. And all our production methods. Now, this is really nice because now we have privately owned. But when I go to this one, we're going to get more capitalists. Capitalists are part of the industrialists, I think. That makes sense, right? I, I can't show it here, but most likely they are. And that means that they get more clout. People can become a capitalist, and later on, when the peasants have no more power, we can become a capitalist country. And then the capitalists can fund the investment pool. So, I'm gonna do this everywhere. To increase the amount of capitalists. In my country. Yeah, some of them don't like it. But... The jobs are also something we need to take care of. And we can do the same with all our farms over here, except for... Oh yeah, these are homesteading, of course. I'd love to go to publicly traded. Gonna trade all our resources. I can start clicking automatic expansion as well. Well, not yet, I guess. And the trains will be government run. I wish that was the case in my country. Oh well. Oh, before I wanted to s uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, food entries. Let's click on one of them. So we have room for more capitalists. Let's take a look at our population. How many capitalists do we have? Seven hundred thousand. Let's see what happens next to the next week. Seven hundred and six thousand. We're going to get more of these, and that is really good, I think. 
Yeah, 60,000 boar. And another 60,000 boar. We almost have 1 million now. Perfect. Alright, that will be the end for this video. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of more episodes, I think. Uh, because I'm still enjoying uh, how this works with all the uh, production methods. Uh, we are doing very well. How are we in uh, quality of life? Number 24 in the world. Let's see if we can get to the top 10. Uh, we are pretty green on the map when I hover over this. So people are having a very good life in Russia. Looking really, really good. We have too many peasants though, but that's because we fired people. They go back to their subsistence farm, because there is nothing else. Uh, they have 35.9% access. Oh, that is uh, really good. They have spare money. The lowest strata. Not all the groups, of course. The peasants, I guess, will not have any spare money. Let's take a look at them. Well, they are fine, actually. They are impoverished, but they have 12. They have clothing. So, things are going well, I guess. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.